And so for me, you know, starting a new business was like the f a first kiss. We are live. We are live in full effect. Um, it's been a while. Um, I, I, I was playing with this uh, live feature a long, long time on YouTube. Uh, but this is my first live, guys. So welcome, welcome. What did I want to talk to you about today? I wanted to talk about staying focused. Staying staying in, in hyper-focused on the goals that you are looking to achieve. For example, uh, in my field, real estate. And a lot of people ask me, Alfonso, if you can go back in time, what would you do differently? What would you change? And it took me a while to figure this out. But, um, and, and I'm sure a lot of entrepreneurs out there suffer from this very thing. The shiny object syndrome. We get all excited. We, we, we see opportunities and we want to take advantage of all the different opportunities. Uh, we want to take advantage of, of, of uh, leveraging the brand and, you know, going into this industry, going into that industry, going into that industry. And if you ask me, Alfonso, if you can go back and do something differently, I would say I would stay hyper-focused in real estate, hyper-focused on doing deals. I spent a lot of my time, um, and by the way, at the end of the day, I'm here, right? I have that experience and I'm happy for everything that has happened in my life. But I felt sometimes that I was, you know, I would start something, and I don't know if it's, if it's the same for you, but I would start something, I would get really excited, and then I want to build the other thing. Because it's like those firsts, it's kind of like romantic, uh, it's like that first kiss, uh, you know, that very time, you, that, that first time you're dating, and then you, it's that first kiss, there's, there's emotions involved there. And so for me, you know, starting a new business was like, the a first kiss, right? And so I don't know if that was my path, but I know that if I'm looking back, I spent a lot of time spinning my wheels. And especially now during COVID-19 uh, and a lot of people went into isolation, a lot of people started new careers and, you know, they were either focused on it, but they're not acting on it. Here's a few issues, okay, and what distracts you. Number one, over-education. Over-education. We'll talk about that. Uh, number two, number two, shiny object syndrome, okay? Shiny object, object syndrome. And number three, you don't want to miss out. Fear of missing out on opportunities. So let's talk about number one. The, the idea that, you know, we do need education, but there is such a thing as over-education. Meaning, if you spent too much time reading books, going to, you know, going to webinars and seminars, do, doing all these things, you're not actually doing. And so, pick a lane and see it through. Go all the way in, get the education, but make sure you do the action. Go out there and execute. Go out there and execute. Learn, come back and get re-educated and go back and execute again. And so, um, and, I, and, 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 and I have suffered from that as well. At some point in my life, in my career, you know what, I just needed one more book. And if, you having, if you're watching this, um, and um, 
you think to yourself, well, I just need one more course, one more book, one more, and you've already invested in all of that, I want to tell you nothing's going to change. Your problem is not the education. Your problem is inaction. And so you have to, you have to act, right? Uh, the, the shiny object syndrome. You know what? Um, especially for me, um, I, would, I would look at uh, people that, would, that I would, you know, that I, I would look up to people, um, mentors in my life, and I would see what they're doing. And so part of that is see what I've done, not what I'm doing. The reason today I have 11 companies, the reason today I have a, a real estate portfolio across Canada, the reason today that uh, I'm on stages all across North America is because of what I've done, not what I'm doing today, right? So today I've, I've leveraged systems, people, teams, process to create the life that I'm living today. But at the very beginning, and if this is you, you know, and, and I'm going to tell you, I know where you're coming from. I used to uh, look up to P. Diddy, Russell Simmons, and I would see, look, they got a clothing line. They got multiple different uh, companies. And so I want to do that. And so I went and I try to start it all at the same time. Look, look behind me. The wall behind me is a testament to that, right? All the different things that I've done. What I should have done is just hyper-focused on the real estate. And if I would have done that, not only would I have a real estate portfolio, like, you know, I, I can't complain. I have a real estate portfolio across Canada. But I would have an international portfolio because I would have been so far ahead that it would have been unreal. But what happened was I got into this lane and I started to look over here. Oh, I'm going to start this. I'm going to start this and I'm going to start that taking away from the power of the real estate. And it's okay that you want to, you know, you want to start your speaking career. It's okay that you want to start a coaching and you want to, you want to teach uh, about real estate and, and uh, you want to sell books and you want to start all these different companies. But you have to focus on the main thing. You have to keep the main thing, the main thing. And if you are on a, on a journey to create a, a real estate portfolio, Focus on that. Give all of your attention to that. Educate yourself just on building that. And don't be distracted by the shiny objects. And so what got me here is all of the times that I actually focused and I zeroed in on what I wanted and then I just went for it. Any other time that I got distracted, <laughs> it didn't work out. So the over-education, the, the, uh, the, you know, the re trying to get educated, I said get educated, go and execute. And the, the shiny object syndrome, right? Don't, don't be distracted. There's a reason why horses have blinders because you want them to be focused on the finish line. If you didn't put blinders on horses, they would go, they would look right, they would look left, and they would mess up the race. It just doesn't work. And so you got to put the blinders up, uh, uh, put the blinders on and hyper focus on what is it that you want? What is it that you're looking for? And so that way, that becomes the most productive thing. And then once you've maximized it, once you are, you're, you're complete domination of the, your industry, whatever it is, for me it's real estate, but for whatever it is, then now you can see how you can create other arms that connect to that business. Of course, if you are going to start other businesses, this should be symbiotic, right? You should have symbiotic businesses that connect. It only helps each individual business grow because they're all somehow connected. And lastly, not every opportunity is a good opportunity. Look, look at me. I feel great. I'm on a mission to stay healthy, stay fit, 
And I've been losing weight. Now, if someone were to come into this room right now and offer me an apple pie, that would be an, a, a great opportunity. That would be an extraordinary opportunity. But it's not an opportunity for me and what I'm trying to accomplish. And so not every opportunity is an opportunity for you. You're not going to jump on every single opportunity. Okay? And so... I want, to, I want to say that th there is opportunity everywhere, but be selective and make sure that the opportunities you take on are, are symbiotic to what you're trying to do. Because any distraction, anything that is going to take you away from the main thing, it will be that much longer until you achieve your goals. And so stay in one, stay here, my friends, stay right here. Hyper focus on that goal. Hyper focus. You know, put the blinders on and just go for it and crush it. And make 2021 the year you're going to take things global. Make 2021 your banner year. 2021, I know a lot of people are sitting there. There's been shifts. Think about this the greatest, the greatest wealth transfer since 1929 is coming our way are you ready are you focused do you have the blinders on to be able to take advantage of everything that's coming our way my friends you know what we still have some time to just refocus and for whatever reason if you were focused on something else in in this video helped you in any way to remember, wait a minute, what was I trying to accomplish in the first place? Create the environment for you to be successful and focus on the things that you want to achieve and you will get there, my friends. Um, I'm so thankful for, for, for you guys uh, just giving me your attention today. Why do I do these videos? I want to bring value to the world. That's what I ultimately what I want to be remembered for is bringing value to the world. I hope I brought value to you. And if I did, you know what? Share this video. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification. I'm here to support you. I'm here to, to grow with you. And um, stick around. I'm going to have more and more content. We have a lot of things planned for 2021. I'm so excited. Alfonso loves you and we'll see you at the top. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified the next time we're doing a, a, a video. And guess what? Like, share, dislike, I don't care!